Good morning, children. Hope all are safe at home. You might have enjoyed the long vacation due to this COVID. Okay, now the vacation are end. This, this is the new academic year. Now you are in fourth standard. Fourth standard, let us enjoy our learning in this new technology. Okay, now you are going to study about, uh, going to study EVS, that is science. First chapter in your science is plants. You have to study about plants. How plants prepare food and store it in their body. We are going to study about plants. Preparing and storing of food. As you all know, plants mostly all plants are green in color, right? Plants are green in color. Have you think about it? Why these plants have green color? Yes, there is a reason behind this green color. This green color is due to a green color pigment, which a pigment that is called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll is the pigment that gives green color to the leaves. Okay, with the help of this green pigment, the plants, plants not only plants, the leaves will absorb sunlight and with the help of air and water, it produce food. The food for plants. Leaf is the kitchen of kitchen of plants. From leaves, plants produce food with the help of air. Air means carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Water. Water is absorbed from the soil. Root absorb water and minerals from the soil and in the presence of sunlight, air and water combines to form symbol sugar. Sugar that is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate and also Oxygen is also evolved during this process. This oxygen will be expelled through the under tiny pores that is present under the outside leaves. Okay. Then the green color, the green color which the pigment which give green color is called chlorophyll. The leaves are the kitchen of plant. The plants produce food with the help of air, water and sunlight in the presence of chlorophyll. The process of making the process of making food in Green plants with the help of air, water, sunlight, and chlorophyll is known as photosynthesis. So, the plants produce food with the help of air, water and sunlight in the presence of chlorophyll. This chlorophyll absorbs sunlight from the atmosphere, sunlight and 
with the help of the sunlight air air means carbon dioxide and water combined to form carbohydrate and oxygen this oxygen is expelled through the tiny pores tiny pores under the leaves called stomata these tiny spores are called stomata with the help of this stomata the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is getting to the leaves and the oxygen is taken away from the leaves okay the oxygen that given out from the plants are inhaled by human beings this photosynthesis we have already discussed about this photosynthesis photo means photo means light synthesis means binding together photo means light and synthesis means binding together as i already told that leaves are very important to plants okay then we are going to next we are going to study about the different parts of leaves main parts of leaves suppose this is a green leaf okay green leaf it has a middle vein which carries water and minerals from soil this mid line is called mid rib this is called mid rib it has so many side veins these are the side veins mid rib is formed of a double pipeline of cell mid rib is formed of two pipelines one pipeline carries water and minerals from root to from root to from soil to leaves this mid rib one while the other carries the prepared food the food which we prepare from the leaves to the different part to be stored mm, under the root or stem etc on the other side of the leaf there is a tiny underside on the underside on the underside there is a tiny pore called stomata stomata is like this it is it is very small it is very small which is there in under the leaf which help us help the plants to intake carbon dioxide and expel oxygen that is produced after the preparation of food then how do now that let us look how plants store their food how do plants not storing sorry how do plants use their food as i already told that these plants produce food as simple sugar that is carbo hydrate right 
this is the plant produce carbon dioxide carbohydrate it is used by the plant to get get energy and to grow this uh, food produced by the plants can be used by plants itself to for their growth and for getting energy so ba balanced food prepared by the plant is stored in their own body parts such as stems roots etc the excess food of plant that is stored in the stem and root are consumed by plants and uh, sorry plants consumed by animals and human beings these excess food are used by human beings for their life then now we are going to study about some unusual plants unusual plants means which are not like usual plants one of that one of exam one example for that is have you uh, you might have seen cactus cactus is a plant that is growing in a desert area in cactus there is no leaves cactus contain only spines small spines leaf is transformed to spines these cactus plant prepare the food in this fleshy stem green fleshy stem this fleshy stem contain that green pigment which is that green pigment chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green pigment that helps to produce prepare food okay this is the cactus this is one an ex one of the example for unusual plant then next is mushrooms you might have seen mushrooms mushrooms right mushrooms are not green in color these mushrooms cannot prepare food of their own you might have seen the mushroom these are not green in color so how will they get food they get food from dead plants and animals that is from organic matters the these plants get food from decaying plants and animals some of the some of the cotton plants there are some cotton plants like cotton plants these plants are red in color even though they has chlorophyll this chlorophyll even though chlorophyll is present in their leaf they appear to be red in color due to this red pigment they appear to be red in color even though they are in red in color they can prepare food because the chlorophyll is present inside this leaf then energy now we are going to study about energy flow energy flow means we have already studied that the plants prepare food with the help of sunlight so it is prepared with the help of sunlight the sun energy sun's energy is using by the plants to prepare food okay that that's from that food the plant prepare food with the help of sunlight this energy is uh, transferred from this plants to all the things animals and human beings that is eat uh, that is having that plants those animals and human beings having that plant is that food that plants food is getting that energy so there is a flow of energy that is 
sunlight sunlight with the help of sunlight water carbon dioxide carbon dioxide plants prepare food the food of the plants is eaten by some animals and plants animals sorry animals and humans human beings so this energy is transferred to animals and human beings also next next we are going to study about the interdependence of plants and animals plants and animals depend on each other in for at their survival without one without without one we can't survive without plants animals and human beings can't survive animals and humans need food and oxygen with the help of only with the help of plants they get food the oxygen expelled by the plants are we taking in the plants need carbon dioxide for preparing food the human beings expel out carbon dioxide then this carbon dioxide is taken by the plants and prepare food thus plants and animals depend on each other for their survival then balance in nature we have to maintain a balance in nature if we cut off many plants there are a, a drastic change in the atmosphere we will get less amount of oxygen the oxygen availability will be less than if we uh, if the human beings or animals are less drastically less then the availability of carbon dioxide will be low then we have to uh, keep a balance between these plants and animals so then only there there will be a continuity in life in the nature so for keeping this balance we have to maintain the number of plants and human human not only humans animals we have to keep that balance every time so i hope i hope you understood this chapter read this chapter thoroughly and if you have any doubt you can uh, call me at any time i will be there to uh, to i will be there for you at any time thank you